Hello there, yeah, I thought I'd do a video, I haven't done one for quite some time now, it's, um, it's been really good to see a lot of new channels as well, where vinyl, you know, is really going through a massive resurgence for the last few years, and people are really getting into the, the technical side of it as well, and um, some really good channels have been created recently, you know, people showing uh, equipment and uh, doing some reviews, really good good in-depth reviews of equipment which I'm, I'm really enjoying um so this morning what, I, what i've done this morning is every now and then I, I just check my alignment then of my cartridge and just uh, to to visually inspect the cart uh, the actual stylus as best as i possibly can and um just to go through a few things just to make sure that uh, the bias is set uh, correctly the the tracking force uh, is still where i like it to be set that just simple basic checks that i do and i've done that this morning what i also do um i mean i've set up lots of different cartridges on this turntable lots of different ones and i know it's a topic that that people will will debate uh, how you should set up the right way and the wrong way and, and what have you and and you know what I just found a way which which works well for me I've found a protractor which I've used I mean I've used lots of different ones over the years but I found one which seems to work uh, uh, better for me and um, yeah to, to, to what I also use also is some specific records which are quite challenging uh, to track and uh, also you know my years which is the most important thing I think um, is how it's sounding you tend to know if, if things don't sound right especially if you listen to, to vinyl as much as I do and get used to your system as much as I have done uh, but also what I, 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 I have got and I've had this for many years is this Hi-Fi News test record um it's a the analog test lp and uh, yeah i find it quite useful it's just to, to, to check my 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 understanding as well and yeah there's a few tracks on here which which offer i think a real test um and it, it, it's on the tracks i specifically use are on side one and there's a band six seven eight and nine basically it's um it's the way it works is that it uh, delivers a 300 hertz tone continuous tone through uh, the stylus and th which is obviously audible then through the speakers and the idea is is to get uh, the an even signal then from both speakers it, it should it sounds very much like um, uh, no, like a wine glass where you 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 apply a bit of force, light force around the rim of the wine glass, and it creates a. That is what the tone is similar to that I'm hearing through the speakers. It's the only way I can describe it. But the, the tests get harder as you go progress through the tests and um obviously the the idea is 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 to try and pass the tests as best you can there's one uh test which is the real hardest one which is uh, very very difficult it's um for, for first of all right it starts off with a 300 hertz tone left and right uh at plus 12 uh, decibels on band six and that is like the easiest one and really you know it should really pass that with flying colors without any problem then you've got a, 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 another bias set in anti-skate test uh, at, uh, at the same sort of 300 hertz tone but at 14 decibels um, it, it's just the, the amplitude then is a little bit higher than than the first test and then it goes on then to the same tone but 16 again higher amplitude and then the final test 
which is uh, the real hard one is at uh, 18 decibels so it's a you know it's it's a higher amplitude again um basically what the record says if it if it tracks band six seven and eight satisfactorily then it, then for all sort of practical purposes you should have no problem tracking any records now interestingly what i'm using the the the, the cartridge that is my kind of go-to cartridge and, and i i have tried lots of different ones uh over the years but the one that, that i seem to go back to all the time and has seen more time in my system than any other cartridge is a naga Oka mp11 boron so it's um it's no longer made um but i was fortunate enough to find a new old stock uh stylus for one uh in recent years and um because the stylus on on the 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 cart the the uh the cantilever that came with the with a with the actual uh, cartridge had, had worn out after a, you know many many years of use so I was really delighted to find a new old stock one and I put that on and wow you know that that's that's what's been in my system but it is an elliptical stylus now there are obviously variety of different stylus profiles I've tried uh, micro line micro ridge stylus I haven't tried a, a, a shibata but um Having, you know, found different ways of setting and testing and what have you, setting the actual alignment, I still believe that, that this MP11 Boron with its elliptical stylus tracks equally as good, if, if not better, than any other cartridge that I've used. Uh, and using this test record has actually sort of un underlined my understanding of that as, as being potentially correct uh obviously urine is believing and i do like the sound that this particular cartridge brings um and uh, but that that's you know my preference i guess so what i thought i would would do is yeah i i thought i'd just do uh, just play the the four tests now I, i've just set it up so I need to test it now. I just need to be. I, I ch I've checked the alignment. I've checked the the, the downforce, the tracking force. I've checked the actual uh, the the uh, vertical vertical tracking angle to make sure everything is is aligned properly in the head shell. And um, yeah, so let, let's give it a go. Now I'm expecting that it it will pass. Uh, the, the the first three tests um and then i'd be really happy if it does well on the fourth test i'll be even happier let's let's have a listen so i got all set up by you let's have a look here uh yeah just turn it around there so there it is let's see if i can get it in focus so there we go so right then let's have a go so this is like we've we've i try and do this as best as i can and yeah i know that people i tend to use my finger and just drop it i know i've got a a, a a lever at the back where i can lift and use if i want to but i i tend I tend not to use it i guess i got so used to doing it this way so this is the first test anyway let's drop it the needle down That sounds really good to me. Test two. Also sounds really good to me. Test three. So now I've done the th first three tests. I'm pleased with that. That's really good. This is the hardest one of all. And the, the fourth one, here we go. 
And there will be some distortion on this, I'm expecting. Actually, that is very good. So I did the four tests. I'm really pleased with that, as it happens, uh, how, uh, how that went. Um, like I say, on the record there, the first three tests, if they, are, if they sort of perform really well on the first three tests, then really you shouldn't have any sort of tracking issues. I don't appear to have. Um, there are a number of records that I use which uh, to test my system, you know, just music that I, that I really like. I'm really used to, uh, and I tend to know if something isn't right, um, I, and something needs checking or have you. But um, yeah, I, I think I, that that performed uh, really well. You know, it, a lot of it as well. It does. It's not all about the the cartridge and the alignment. I mean, there's other things. You obviously you got your the the, the tone arm, um, any resonance coming through the tone arm. Also, how uh, I mean, the turntable needs to be set up perfectly on an even table you you need uh, you know to use a spirit level uh it it, you know, it just an isolation as well and have a good sort of table to isolate then the turntable as best as you can from any kind of vibration i mean it, it's uh it, it goes on and on really but um yeah you know i having done that test this morning I'm quite happy so I'm going to enjoy some music now and uh, thanks again for watching the video. Um, I've also done one other thing. I've done a, a slight change to my system from because uh, I haven't bought anything really for my system for quite a while. But um, I wanted to buy another amplifier to swap in and out of my system. I got speakers which I swap in and out, you know, as as the mood takes me really i like to change things around every now and then um and some cables that i tend to swap in and out of my system uh but uh yeah i've got a, a, a another amplifier that i use and so i might do a video uh showing what i bought really and uh and explain and go through that with you as well so in the meantime thanks again bye bye for now